<laughs> okay, Pearl. Um, well, first of all, we'll start off with, with you know, what's been going on with you so far. Um, coming off of the injury right now, I mean, how has it been for you to, to kind of get through that injury and how you've, been, um, how you've been working out and trying to improve yourself during that time? Well, for the first four weeks, I kind of was very limited to doing much, to doing anything. So I spent a lot of time with my physical therapist three days a week. I have a therapist that I've been with for the last two years. So I trust her with everything. And uh, we've been we're doing a lot of just rehab. I did a lot of yoga, some very light impact swimming. And so for the last, I would say, four weeks, I've been back in training. I'm finally here. Uh, prior to this last four weeks, I started up just coming in drilling jiu-jitsu. No rolling, just drilling. And for the last four weeks, I would say I yeah, four weeks. Um, back into rolling, so I'm full rolling now, complete rolling and sparring, um, and working my way back into full training. I, I'm interested because um, I, I'm interested in the fact that I think a lot more jujitsu people are taking yoga. Has that helped you out in terms of your jujitsu game and and your submission game? Oh my gosh, yes! I absolutely love yoga. It it just honestly it releases a lot of the tightness or. Our hips, the way we are, we're always in a very similar position for guard, and so we create a lot of uh, muscle imbalances and tightness in our hips because of that, along with all of the weight training that I do, you know, I, and so the, the yoga really balances out the weight training, the sparring, and, and the rolling. Yeah. Now, um, now, like you said, you, you've been coming off of this injury. You, you've been, you've been, you've been building up right now. Um, well, first of all, you, the last fight you dropped down to 115. Um, how has that been the position from being a, a flyweight down to a strawweight? And how's the cut been going in terms of that? It's, <laughs> it's a challenge. Uh, probably the biggest challenge of my life. But I feel amazing at 115. I'm so lean. I'm, I'm faster. I'm lighter. I feel great. I think that the uh, focus and dedication that it takes to drop that extra 10 pounds has really forced me to take my training and my dedication to this, to this, to my craft to another level. And so uh, it's intense. I have to. I, I walk around around 135, so that's a 20 pound weight cut for me. Um, and and I can't do that obviously the last week of. So it's about a six to eight week process of me slowly working my way down. Yeah, and now that there's early weight cuts, how I mean, how how you feel about that? I'm pretty sure you're pretty stoked about about having to, you know to, you can weigh in a little bit earlier. Yeah, I love that. I love that idea. I have yet to try that. Uh, my last fight was in April before they they changed everything up, but I'm excited for that. I think that um, it will help me rehydrate. I think that the rehydration process is pretty intense because even that, if you don't do that properly, like you don't show up and, and fight. You know what you've been working so hard for the past 12 weeks for me. This this gym particularly has some really good talented talented uh, females. Liz, of course, and Lay Lay, who's over in Bellator. Liz is in the UFC. What's it like being trained with some of these girls and so maybe some of the girls that are coming up in the gym that are are just starting to get their their careers, maybe their amateur careers, um, going. Going. Uh, I love it. I love it. This was a very big move for me. I've been in Chicago my entire life. Uh, born and raised at one gym for most of that majority of that this was the first time I stepped out of my comfort zone and came to a whole new gym I don't know anybody many people here in San Diego so it, it was a transition it was intense at first I think it was hard for me but it has helped me grow in so many ways having Liz who is at that high, the highest level of our sport mentor me and, and coach me and train with me and, and teach me and beat me <laughs> and Alima Alima has uh, I've been here for her whole, her entire amateur career, so I've kind of helped her grow as a fighter, uh, and it's been amazing to see just her progress in the sport. She's, you know, three years ago to today, she's an amazing, you know, talented girl. So the the, the ability to work with women is so different when where I came from was just men, and so now that I have women, I mean, it is intense. It's a lot more competitive, and. and you, you don't have excuses like you do with men. And so I love it. It's brought me to a whole nother level. It's brought my focus and, and just my training and, and even improvement in my fight to a whole nother level. Um, any any, um, any up and coming prospects that you see in the gym that we should be keeping an eye out for? Right now we don't have, I don't know if we have any amateurs right now. I don't think we have any women amateurs here. Um, in Chicago, my other gym, um, there is a, 
a girl that I have been training with for four years out there and her name is Tina Gomez and we recently found out she's my cousin, which is crazy. But she is an amateur, I think she's six, six and two, seven and two, pretty big amateur record. She is an amazing prospect to look out for. It would be interesting. Do you, do you ever think about bringing her down here, or maybe getting her some fights down here? I know. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love. I would love to bring her out here and train with the higher level, the higher level girls. I think that I'm the highest level out there that she works with, and so for her to come out here, I think it would be huge for her. Uh, so I hope so. My coach comes out here once in a while. He'll come hang out with Manny for a week and train with me out here. So hopefully we can bring bring her out as well. Yeah. Um, what weight class did you fight at? She's a 115er. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, now, um, you mentioned Chicago. Um, quite a few, quite a few past, your, your past fights have been up in Chicago, even if you've been training down here. What's it like to be, be uh, kind of uh, fighting uh, in your hometown and have that hometown crowd? It is amazing. I have so much support in Chicago. Uh, this year alone, right after my last fight, I was on the, the front page of the Chicago Tribune, which was, oh my god, it was like a dream come true for me to see and have all that support from Chicago. I love my hometown. I am here to represent my hometown. I come from the rougher parts of Chicago and I'm here to just prove and be that example that we can make a difference. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, what, you know, there is a lot of like, you know, outreach um, into a lot of gyms now that, that they want to get some of these young, young women and young men into the gym and, and kind of get their energy focused as well. I mean, what does that mean to you to, to, to be able to, to be a, a, an example of what could happen if they really dedicated themselves to training and possibly be very, very successful at what they do? It is my motivation today, I think, uh, to set that example, to, to be there, you know, even with my younger nieces that I have, I show them little moves and fighting for me has been my outlet. This has saved my, fighting has saved my life. And, um, if you can take that, the energy that you have from home, whether it be negative or positive, and put it into yourself like I have with fighting, it is amazing the things that you can accomplish. And so it means the world to me to be able to go back home and, and to show them, you know, what it takes and, and, and with that dedication, what you can accomplish. Yeah, now you're, you're currently like five and one, and that one loss was just a razor thin decision. Razor thin. I mean, talking about majority's decision here. Um, you know, what, you know, obviously one of the hottest prospects out there, you're coming off your knee injury, so what's the plan now? Obviously you probably want to warm up fight before, before considering anything, anything big time, but kind of, uh, you know, lay out your plans. You're, you're currently uh, just about, you're, you're about, you're about, about a month or so out from being back to 100%. What's, you know, what's kind of the plan within the next, you know, six, the next months to a year? We're hoping that, uh, I'm six and one too, by the yeah, way. So uh, we are hoping to have a, like you said, a warm up fight and just, you know, the weight cut again is intense and, and just make sure that everything is together physically, mentally, emotionally. And uh, then I'm ready. I am I'm ready for the UFC and I'm, I'm, I am ready for the best girls in the world. Yeah, I mean, it is it is a stacked division at the UFC right now. 115, um, you know, it's, it's, it is chaos uh, to be considered as well. What do you think about the divisions there, and how you know how excited are you right now that this there, there's a prospect of you possibly making it to the to the big show as it were? I think it's a dream come true for me. I've always hoped to be on this big stage and 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 have this big crowd behind me, and to know that it's within reach right now is is so motivating, and also you know that is my ultimate success. That is to me what I de define success is is making it and being successful in the UFC. Okay. Um, anything that the fans should know about, um, you know, you know, um, anything you want to say to the fans or anything that you want to then put out there? Absolutely. I I would like to tell uh, specifically the younger generation. Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, where you're a product of. I am a full example, a complete example of, despite my environment and the challenges that I was forced to face, through dedication, through perseverance, through belief. You can accomplish anything. Anything in your dreams, in your heart, nothing can stop you if you put your mind to it and you stay get dedicated and you stay true to yourself. Okay. 
Uh, then you, um, at Pearl Gonzalez on Twitter, and I believe on Instagram. Is that yes, the same? Yes, at Pearl Gonzalez on Instagram. And then also also on Facebook. I know you have a, you have a page there as well. Yes. So you gotta look this up, gal, because this she's gonna be a, you're gonna be an upcoming talent. I mean, obviously, like I said, impressive record, six and one. So um, we look forward to maybe seeing you, maybe seeing you in, the, in in a major stage soon. So hopefully that'll happen. So.